My name is Malka Janet. I am an architect. We are in Los Altos Hills, California, in my own personal home that my husband and I built uh, this year. This is the house that we put a lot of inventions and innovations in. In a way, I wanted to sneak in a little bit of a requirement that my husband had for Star Trek. Hi guys, welcome to Jeanette Residence. Please come on in. The cost of the home is approximately 10 million. So we have six bedrooms in total, six and a half bathrooms, then dining room and the main living room. So this is the dining room, which is one of the most unique um, aspects of the design that we've done in this house. So if you see it from down below, from the basement side, it's actually Star Trek Enterprise in a very abstract manner. But to experience the dining room to the fullest, you have to see it with this whole door wide open. So the style of the house is very minimalistic modern. It's a very much of an open floor plan. From the kitchen, you can see the swimming pool if the kids are swimming. You could see the family room if we all are watching TV. So the idea is it's a very interactive flow of the house. I really wanted to use this pool to create some color. And that's where this whole Michelangelo's painting came into, um, into the process. The way the both the hands connect, we've uh, centered it right underneath the dining uh, room and it just works perfectly and the colors really complement the whole environment. And as the homeowner and the architect of the project, that was extremely important for me. I wanted to test out quite a lot of things in this house that I want to use in our clients' homes. Clients always tell me that, oh, we should be able to shove stuff in and quickly close the doors. So uh, put a lot of effort in creating this backsplash. You can touch anywhere at the bottom of the, the upper cabinets and it goes down. And now we've actually already used it in two other projects. Apart from this, we have another uh, very fun gadget in the kitchen. We created this uh, spice rack. It has all our spices, our everyday knives, oils. Um, we also have a pot filler in it. I just like everything within reach. I want it to be accessible when needed. So keeping a very clean, flush look was important. We selected this stove for this one very reason. When you're not using it, it's flush. And when you're using it, it comes up. And when you're done with it, you can just put it back in and uh, it's all easy to clean. The whole aspect of the house was that it should be livable. It was designed for our family. So now we'll show you the basement, but to get there, we're gonna use the elevator, which is kind of like beam me up Scotty from Star Trek. So I want you guys to check out the room that our kids and my husband love the most. Check it out. So as you can see, all the posters are specially picked for what our family likes. It is the hub for our Friday, Saturday movie watching time. So this is my daughter's bedroom. Both the girls share this room. My youngest daughter, Alicia, she likes Harry Potter and she wanted us to create this hidden bookshelf. So we've created this hidden stair. Hi girls. So this is our girls play loft. So this is where we do a lot of artwork, a lot of puzzles. The girls have their library here. There's a very fine line where you can appreciate architecture, but you'll be like, there is no way I can live in this place. It's like a museum. And as soon as we started thinking about how we are going to be living in it, it started evolving into this warm, cozy feel. I loved showing the house to all of you and uh, hope you guys had fun.